What's up, y'all? It's Shuffle. We are back with more viewer runs. This one comes from Joa Mamola. This is a pitch black dungeon run. I have not played pitch black dungeon, but I know it is a very extensive overhaul. So if you ever want to check it out, it's on the Steam Workshop. It's one of the most popular ones out there. And I'm seeing this for the first time, but I'm mostly going to be trying to evaluate the decision making, even though I know a lot of the things have been balanced differently. So. I'm going in kind of, you know, blind in that sense, but I think my experience should at least let me give some kind of credible commentary. And we're going in for 5,005 gold. These changes. And a speedstone, very nice. This is Apprentice. Interesting team. Bounty Hunter is interesting in the Cove, like base Cove, vanilla Cove. But he, like, he kind of struggles a bit because protection's so high in here and if he's setting his own mark then it gets kind of weird so we'll see how that goes I guess but PD should be enough to just like hard carry PD matches up very well in the cove I would say she's one of the best and I think that should be good enough so let's see what's happening okay got the mouse going into cove oh there's one campfire okay these changes. Man, hold on. Is Beast Hater the same? Seerstone, buffed. I mean, not even buffed. That's actually kind of a nerf. You get 5% extra scouting for minus one more speed. That's actually ass. So what is Beast Hater here? Same as it is. Double check one more time. It's just minus damage, yeah. An Ascetic. Ooh, uh, yeah, okay, same quirks. Only one trinket, I think, but that's fine. Judgments, armor piercing, stun, heal, way weaker. Level one divine comfort. Is that Vestal? She's level one. Can we not upgrade her skills here? PD. So we have stun and speed. It's a very standard loadout here. I don't know how PVD works here. So pitch black dungeon, as I'm going to refer to it as. But if we can't get level two skills, that's kind of scary. It'd be nice to have level two skills. Okay, so we have a pretty good set of quirks here. The minus damage isn't the end of the world. It is, I think, minus one damage overall. Actually, it might round to just be the same damage, which would be pretty nice. Actually, what do these skills do? I didn't even see. Are they the same? Looks the same. Looks the same. Looks the same. Okay, it is. Just the color coding is a little different. We have Ansi, so of course this guy has to go out. Warrior's Cap, nice. This thing. Minus stress damage received, plus dodge, minus party surprise. Okay, that's very good. This probably came from a boss or something like that, I would imagine. Okay, that looks the same. The same. Stun chance looks higher on that, actually. Flashbang got nerfed. Finish him, bonus damage, and go. I'm reading while I sip my water. I want to see what this drink it is. Shambler plush. Damage when acting last. Oh god, that's so much. Scouting chance of low stress. Okay, and then you get scouting penalty above stress. Okay. Plus speed if high stress. Okay, so that's interesting because if you can keep your stress down and go last, you get all the benefits. So that makes Crusader pretty good. Leopard actually be pretty good with this too. Otherwise, if you get stressed out, you just lose... Not only do you lose the bonuses, you uh, you get penalties. So that's actually very interesting. Okay, it has the Miller's Pipe built into it. Excuse me? That's so strong. It's 125 base. Hero killed, party debuff. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Okay, more stress received too. That thing's cool. Okay, that looks the same. Armor piercing, I would have changed how that worked. That's just me. Stunning blow got nerfed. It's not minus 50, it's minus 67. Minus crit too. Actually, let's see Bulwark one more time. Looks the same. Although the prop buff is lower. There's some weird changes like that in these mods I don't understand. Like, the prop buff being 20 or whatever out of the box isn't like game breaking, I feel like. It's probably his most, or his least used move behind uh, Zealous. Okay, we're just buying skills anyway. 
Is that minus stress damage received? Is that stress healing? Yeah, it is. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. And plus... Why is it plus two stress on top? That's so weird. I like the color schemes. 20 food. Different ways of stacking. Potions. Interesting. <clears throat> I'm sure there's new curio to deal with. Which is why we need tiny daggers. Hold me closer, tiny dagger. There's someone in my Twitch chat that always likes to name Jester Tiny Dancer. I forget who it is. But just remember I'm thinking about you. So we have a very linear path here. I like to zoom out a little bit. Backgrounds look slightly different. I don't think they had the fish idols before. Oh, I hate these dungeons. This is small, by the way. So it looks like the short dungeons are always just mediums now. So everything just got upgraded. Okay, I like the idea. Got a knife to open stuff with. This looks like faster walking. Is it faster walking? I wouldn't be surprised. It's hard to tell. Sometimes faster walking isn't that much faster. And sometimes they just run. Okay, normal enemy mash. Same attacks I'm seeing. Hexproof? Okay, so they have like little sub modifiers. That are kind of like... Uh, you play ARPGs. You know, like Path of Exile, Diablo, and stuff like that. Where elites have... I would have stunned the Cultist Switch. With either of them, honestly. But we'll see. Maybe maybe it's just that much different, you know? Only three damage on that blade kind of sucks. Okay, those attacks seem about the same. Okay, she's just dead. She got to go back to back like that. Oh no, no. No move. Ah. Uh, was it stunned already? She has stuff resist. So that might have been better. In base. Is that Inspiring Cry? Excuse me? What? Hold up. Oh my god. I guess it makes sense that it should affect uh, extra units, but... Oh, I see how it is. It's 50% chance to heal. Not the give stress. Death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Definitely zap. Zap the fish. Clean it up. Weapon that cuts on its own. He's going for that stun. We're fishing. It's interesting they nerf PD's dots when the strength of PD is really just her. It's it's in her trinkets and like what they do to her skills. It's not her base skills. It's just the fact that her trinkets are so powerful. Also, what's interesting is the Shambler plush kind of incentivizes Crusader to, you know, attack by going last, but since we have to keep the stress down, he's just spamming stress heal, so I don't know if that, that's almost just not worth bringing in that situation. If he's relegated to stress healing every single turn to avoid the penalties, then it may be better to just, like, take someone else. Or give that to someone else. Give it to, like, a uh, bounty hunter. Just my initial thought. As someone who has never played PvD before. Is that, like, farmstead stuff? Not farmstead. Crimson Court. Eggs. Does this pull on rank? Or no. On Apprentice? No, it doesn't. Okay. Um. Yeah. I, I do agree with that. Why is P so much slower, though? She had three speed before. Okay, she has eight. I was going to say, we don't want to flashbang the pink fish because we are trying to double stun. Unless we get lucky and pink fish goes up two In instead of one. But that's not victory. too common. The judgment is armor piercing. I'd actually snipe the snail. In that case. Because snail goes down pretty easily to like pick to the face and pierce normally. Usually just one tap. So having a armor piercing move this early might be nice. Especially on Vessel. It's okay, those stuns are still good. No bleeds? 
Nice. Stunning blow. Remember there's another, I think it was a Twitch comment I got on, like, Friday. A Crusader and someone's like, that blow do be stunning. Or that might have came from Discord. I can't remember. I just read so much text in the day now. Between everything I'm doing. Oh my goodness. Okay, that one's dead. That's good. Pinkfish is more important anyway. Gotta spam that stress heal. It's only two. It's a 50-50 for two. Definitely need Vestal zapping that snail this turn. Like, I would just get out of her way and let her do it. It's such a perfect tempo zap. She's missing HP. She has armor piercing. Oh! Please! That was definitely her time to zap. There's so much value in Inspiring Cry now. <laughs> Not that it wasn't high value before, it was actually really good before. I don't even know if the change to it makes it better or worse, honestly. It makes it more interesting, for sure. It's not just like, raw value with one button press. You know, there's some inherent risk, but it's got some interesting stuff on top of it. Because isn't it just like spamming a, a stress resist buff on top? That's pretty nice. Okay, that's a new move. What's that debuff? Thank you for showing me. Stress healing? Ah, and healing received? For one battle? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on. Oh my goodness. So there's a couple things. With how base cove is, normally you bring a ton of medicinal herbs, and I only see one in the inventory. If monsters have moves like that, I am buying all six medicinal herbs or whatever I can carry from the, the shop because holy crap. That is devastating. Makes it very hard to stall against that guy. So that's interesting. It's an interesting way of rebalancing where the normal stall targets are less effective. Okay, it's only 35%, but it does cut it by half because of the rounding. Okay, nice crit. Two. Oh my goodness, we're just healing for one. Oh, it's so weak. Oh, he does it again! What the f- Oh, hell no, dude. Hell no. Destroy them all. It was only for one battle, right? Okay. Alright, never mind. For some reason, my brain was thinking, like, one battle said quest. Also, where'd we get this, this buff here? Oh, that thing. Little biological warfare. Very perfect for her, I guess. One battle, four battles for the other one. Minus bleed chance. Wait, was it minus bleed skill chance? So they're trying to like nerf, yeah. Get dunked incision. Oh, four rounds, okay. This incision hate, like incision, incision was somehow an oppressive move. I don't know what we're stressing out about. I just see us walking forward. Little barnacle knife. Got a citrine's worth of gold. Very cool. All these barnacle chests. Why is PD the one opening them? There's something specific. Is she like some kind of interaction curio? Like uh um, Antiquarian? Double stun in the opener. I'm zapping that snail. The chance to hit was so low, too. That's definitely the first thing I'm noticing, is if Judgment armor pierces, like I'm thinking it does, we should be zapping these, uh, these high armor targets. It's a very good answer, especially if it's like a 50-50 to hit the pink fish. It's just not worth it. Stress wave. Oh, does PD have dodge again? Is she not chilling to zero? What was the chance to hit there? 55? This just seems so inefficient. We're sending, like, our very heavy direct damage into a snail that the Vestal can hit with armor piercing. 
I gotta double check this honestly. So we're at 1034. Because I really have to know if it uh, armor pierces. Am I just being a dummy? No, it has armor piercing. So we... Oh, okay, 20% armor piercing. But still, it has no dam... Oh, it has a small damage penalty. I still think she should be the one uh, zapping these, these snails and stuff. That's just me. The heal! Oh, so much value! You took two actions for one. Yeah, slow that dude down before he starts debuffing us. I don't think we had a heal there. I think we only healed two people, right? Yeah. Definitely a zap turn. So my one major critique is I feel like we should be zapping more. What? Is that fishing for a, a stress, like a crit heal for stress? The only thing I can think of. I guess we can still stun against, or stall against these. Since that only lasts till the end of the battle. And they only seem to do it when everything else is dead. Instead of just spamming Octocestus. Alright, it's dead. A momentary abatement. Still fishing. I just not stress heal anyone. A faint hope blossoms. Is that potion? Stone skin. Is that like a block? There's no way it's like Pathfinder Stone Skin. DR10 Animantine, excuse me. For some frickin' diamond dust. A fortune waiting to be spent. Double thrall, that's terrifying. Also, we are under 75 light, which is a bit scary. Probably cap it out. Just notice there's no music, so if that was done to uh, protect me from copyright, thank you very much. I appreciate that. They only seem to snipe my videos that have the words Let's Play in the title, so I stopped doing that. But I am very appreciative that people do seem to notice and are trying to protect me. That's nice. It's that sense of community. Shape shifting. I don't even know what these subtypes do. Shocker. Snow crit? Okay. There's some kind of proc because that blocked it. Or took it down to zero, which is pretty nice. Squeeze out some heals, then it bleeds out. Yeah. Gold rewards seem a bit lower. Definitely have to play some PVD. This looks fun. It looks like the core stuff in like battle doesn't really change, but the uh Who gives that buff? That has to be Cult of Switch. Inspirational, I see it. Yeah, it looks it looks fun. It looks different. More stuff to manage. So if you're like me and you play this game enough regularly. That having some other things to interrupt the thought process is kind of nice. Sometimes it's not though. Sometimes I just want to like be kind of brain dead and automatic when I play this game. Double blight, looking good. I have a debuff resist too. What the heck? We hit. We crit. Oh wow. That flashbang was so fortuitous. I'd leave it alone. Honestly, once, if it's still the same, I should say. If it's just gonna spam ceremonial cut up there, leave it. Because you effectively killed it with one stun, which is pretty cool. The miss. It's interesting that we took turns where healing felt suboptimal. And then we're getting into turns where healing feels like okay, like it feels justified. And we're not healing. 
Someone's dead. Oh my goodness, no wonder she heals for so little. Can we just stun this guy? Was he stunned last turn? Where's turn three? What was he doing turn three? He was not stunned. Okay, we should have stunned him here. Because Crusader's still marked. And we healed for three when we could have tried to stun him and uh, not take this punch damage here. This is definitely a stun. I mean, chances to hit wasn't that high, so it kind of sucks, but... Well, we only took three damage, so it evened out. Maybe it doesn't get Merc's energy anymore. I mean, that's just not an apprentice, and I can't remember. Man, these... this yelling. Okay, that one sounded normal for the cove. Trying to sell a little bit. Stun it. This is probably a camp room, honestly. I think we should be stunning this thing. Okay, we got it. The light, the I appreciate the stalling. I know it's not like the most entertaining thing to watch, but honestly, in higher levels of play, you have to stall to get the most out of your team. And then it looks like in this, since healing is so ineffective, like as a, a one to one skill compared to the damage you're taking, like even more so than Caustic Solution. What is this? I appreciate that I get to see everything. Bonus damage, nice. Lost my train of thought there. I was thinking we should camp, right? Because we want to make sure our buffs get use out of the upcoming battles. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly. Surprised that was our first thing with a shovel in the cove. We didn't even find a shipwreck. I think. Might have found one. I don't think so though. Okay. Good. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. True. Sink. Our camp skill is that much different? Doesn't look like it. Actually, I think it's five crit instead of eight. Is that all companions get that? Has it always been that way? Maybe it does. As the light Big fan of Zell's speech. Spirits are lifted. Seems good with our Shambler clear. plush. Which I think is adorable. I want a Shambler plush IRL. I saw someone make one in like the Darkest Dungeon Discord. But I have to go searching like Etsy and see if someone has one because I definitely want to buy it. Then my cats find it and just rip it to pieces because LOL cats. Now I'm a fan of this. She hasn't taken her turn yet, so get that damage in. Eradicated. It's kind of awkward though. How do we kill her from... Oh, JK. Just do that. And the uppercut. The move wasn't that important, but the stun was very handy. Because she was going to bleed out anyway, so he's come back up to two. So aggressive with the stress heal. I would have just bopped him. I don't know. When I stall, I like to get the enemies down to killable range. So in case they do something like crit me twice, I can just finish them right then. But maybe it just doesn't matter. <laughs> yep, definitely didn't matter. This expedition at least promises success. Torches. It's going pretty good so far. Changes definitely make it a bit harder. Just gonna clear it out. How much farther do we have? Oh, we got some time, baby. The path is clear. We require only the strength. Was that open with a torch? The path is clear. It was. Interesting. Only the strength to follow it. Here, let me get this torch and just look in this bag. Shipwreck. Another mariner. Another misfortune. This holy what? What? Holy water heals stress. I guess that should be laudanum, dude. Oh no. Should be like one or two fights, right? Secret room. It's okay. We're done. 
We have the fight repop. We could have took that treasure room fight and then just backtracked, honestly. That's probably how I would have did it. Because now we have a chance to like repop this hallway a second time. Let me go into uh, the secret room. To the depths. Oh no. <laughs> I like Siren's ability. That's a little scary. I don't I don't know if I like regular enemies having that. Yeah. The reason I don't like regular enemies having that is because for one it kind of diminishes Siren. Oh wow, that's an interesting interaction. So because she was considered an enemy when that thing died, she took the blight. Yeah, it kind of diminishes Siren by taking her mechanic, which I'm not that big of a fan of. But also, you gotta be very careful with like mind control, because one of the most frustrating things in games, especially like strategy games, is when you lose control of your units. So stuff like confusion or mind control, in general, for at least me, and I know a lot of other people, just aren't enjoyable. So I'm okay with it being a siren mechanic. I don't know if I like Pinkfish being able to do it at will. It's kind of scary. Seer Stone, why are we taking it off? Is there a mimic? Does this change? Goodies. Sure. They got nerfed? Excuse me? It's not like Brawler's Gloves without oppressive. These are just my little snide comments. It's past 10 at night, so I apologize. This makes me want to turn on the skin palettes, like the color palettes I have for my uh, my torchless game. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh. This is very brave. I know you're trying to show off the rest of the, the dungeon. I definitely would have turned around. It's like if I get to the end, and I have to. Uh, Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Like that we're clearing out the entire dungeon, but you know, if it's like. Yeah, I can dig through this by hand, or I can just leave. Then I would leave. I don't know what we're trying to do here. Besides let buff solo. Holy water on the way in. Okay. Bandits. We get to see everything in this playthrough. The double stun. There's a case to start Crusader in like rank 4, but that doesn't work too well with this team specifically. Crusader's pretty cemented up front when you have PD and Vestal, which are two pretty high value backliners. Did no damage. What? But I don't know. The more, the more I play, the more I just never start Crusader in rank 1. This feels like a waste. Like, I will start him in rank 3, even if he has no dance partner, just to get one Holy Lance out because it's so good. But things are different. He's doing just fine as a uh, stress healer and stuff. I can't remember if this trinket, the plush, means he has to be up front. I can't remember at all. No, he has to go last. That's what it is. They're just getting turns endlessly. Pog. A momentary abatement. Stress heal. One thing I'm a little um, critical of is like how aggressively we are trying to heal and stuff like that and stall, which I know the values are kind of low, so you want to get as much value as you can, but you know, we're leaving stuff like gunners alive in their best positions to keep shooting at us and stuff. So I think we could stall and bully probably like one or two turns later after we get like down to one enemy. That's just my own opinion. The wounds of war I start zapping honestly. It's not better. That pushes back. Why? Why? Nice. All right, that's it, right? All the goodies. It feels like you have to clear out the dungeons in this mode. Just because goodies are so scarce. Alright, see the uh, the quirks. I like that everyone lets me see the quirks. Oh, it's so fast. 
Nothing? Alright, I guess that's going to do it for this one. Thank you, Joa, for sending this in. Very cool. Made me want to play Pitch Black Dungeon. So if you've ever thought about trying it out as a viewer, definitely give it a shot. And next time for viewer runs, I know I have some bosses and some endgame stuff. So I'm not sure which is coming next. I'm trying to get to them in order of like submission dates. So thanks as always. And keep sending these if you want to. I'm trying to be better about getting to these within like a week instead of making people wait two months, which is... I realize pretty stupid on my part because I feel like people want to see this like when they send it they don't want to wait two months or something like that so I apologize and uh, yeah next time stuff check out all the social media stuff in the bottom like patreon twitch and discord etc and I will see you later